What's happening, guys? It's Bark, and we're going to talk about the Feared Hawks and why they're the ultimate shoulder pet. I'm going to go over everything you need to know and also two different ways you could tame this pet. First off, we're going to go over the easiest way to tame the Feared Hawk, and that is to get a bunch of Oviuses. And the reason why you want to get a bunch of Oviuses is because it they take a lot of hits to actually harvest. Who would you harvest first? Pizza? tacos or sushi should I do it with a butcher's axe or let's go old school let's go shotgun I mean tacos was just asking for it being level 69 so when you kill a target these feared hawks that are chilling around you will come down and eat them and it has to be you that kills it it can't be someone else or your animal or anything like that all right pizza you're next get in my belly hmm and so the reason why the Oviuses are so good at teaming these birds is because they take several hits to actually harvest and the more hits it takes to harvest the more taming. Alright birdies it is sushi time and so as you see this bird is getting 10% taming every single hit it got on that and I, I'm playing this on three times uh, taming and the bird that I'm watching is level 100 and so I'm probably going to use probably roughly about five to six goats for uh, three times uh, just so you have an idea how many uh, Oviuses you will need. If I just had one feared hawk around I'm pretty sure the three would have got it on three times taming. And <laughs> yeah let's actually go really old school let's, let's use an axe on this guy yeah. And there we have it, that should finish up the tame and I'm gonna call this guy Big Bird, yeah. This is the method that I actually did the second time, but I'm just showing you to because it's much faster, but it does require you having bait. And so what I'm gonna dive into next is we are gonna see how to actually do it without any bait. This location is 13 lat and 20 longitude. And it's basically in a valley like with snowy mountains around it like that bunch of waterfalls and stuff and how you know when you're in the right spot is you're gonna see just a bunch of birds flying around you and so this second method I would say is the most natural way you don't actually need any tames or anything like that you just have to find a populated dinosaur area and just start going around and shooting things and you got to be careful you don't want to shoot these fear feared hawks because it will actually you know you'll lose your taming effectiveness on them and they'll also fly away from you so you know just let the hunt begin literally just shoot anything you see like even if it's a giga well you know if you have the high ground if you don't have the high ground probably don't shoot a giga in an open field or anything like that but yeah look at that he's trapped on the trees right here and so he's just an easy bait or target I do suggest actually carrying a shotgun or any kind of good weapon and the location that I showed you, you do need to be wearing for others, you'll slowly be freezing to death. But yeah, let, let's get a little brave here. Let's see if we can take this Giga before he one chops us. Oh, the skin clothes. Yeah, there we go. Another thing you should know is Feared Hawks love bigger dinosaurs and you'll get a bigger percent for meeting them and also your taming efficiency seems to excel better and how cool is that they're picking up inventory items and flying around and so when I said let the hunt begin I mean literally let the hunt begin I killed everything in this area for these feared hawks I even won the water and you know dragged out the food so if they're in the water you cannot they will not go and get it if it's too deep and so I actually made a fail move right here is where I shot a Giga in the water, but I don't think they ever reached him. And predators are pretty easy to aggravate because you basically just shoot them from far away and they'll come to you. But this guy, man, he was actually really cool. He kept on making me unequip every single time he would uh, hit me. And if you're wondering how to check your progress is you could either look at your birds up close or you go to your menu and click taming progress and you could see how much percent they are actually tamed and see this guy it took him a while but he eventually uh, went up to my fish as you see right here and ate it um, this was like almost a day later after I dragged this fish out by the way 
So I, I think the pathing gets a little messed up when you drag stuff out of the water, but it does work. I even killed bugs and stuff and man, they would have got so much taming from it just because how hard it is to harvest bugs, but they actually didn't go for the bugs at all. And yeah, I'm killing dittos and monkeys and you know, just anything I see in this area. And you don't want to go too far from the, the original spot you're at because the birds will stop following you. And so like if you see something far away, it's best to just kind of chase it as you see. Like right here, I'm chasing this guy into the area. Like I shot him once and I'm just chasing him in here. Um, once I got him close, I killed him. Death to Fiomi. And you know, these are uh, great guys too to kill just cause it takes so long to harvest. Oh, and there it goes. My first, this is actually my first feared hawk. So let's call it good bird. Or should I say good burger? Now that you know two solid ways to tame these hawks, and the reason why I did two ways is just because they are pretty challenging. I just wanted to throw some options out there. But yeah, so first off, you could pick these guys up by pressing E on a keyboard, and they go on your shoulder, and what you'll notice right away is the ability to actually see dead things. Like, for example, this skull right here means there's inventory over here. And so you can actually find inventory like that. You saw it was hidden. I, I, I didn't even know that was there. Um, but you could find inventory. And then also this white cross right here means that the, the an there's a dead animal there and you could harvest it. To do this the real way, it does take some time. That took me basically about like two days. But yeah, if you look at my inventory, it will actually show you. Uh, my taming progress and all the birds in the area but so the first ability I want to show you is the coolest ability and I'm gonna just pretty much suicide into this T-Rex and I'm rocking the Jurassic Park mod that's why this guy is terrifying I did decide to come back for this Rex after I realized he just one chomped me <laughs> I was like I must get that guy all right, so I'm gonna show you the second coolest ability. I'm gonna respawn and the hawk is gonna fly in like right there and he drops off my inventory bag of what I was carrying when I died. And as you see, it's just all right there. I'm super stoked that my inventory's full. So I'm just gonna drop it off real quick before I grab that stuff. Yeah, I, I spawned in with a lot of stuff because I pretty much beat all the bosses. But man, what a game changer that is. The fact that you can get all your stuff back after you died. This bird is an epic shoulder pet. And that's not only the cool moves it could do. I'm going to show you this. I'm riding my T-Rex that you just saw that chomped me. Because that 170. And I decided to take on this Alpha. And don't worry, I'm not suiciding my bird. You see this thing I just circled in the bottom right? That actually means your bird is immune to damage. So if your bird is on your shoulder, it will not take damage, but if you throw it off your shoulder, dang right, yeah, this T-Rex could chomp it dead. And so your sweet hawk will also identify health on dinosaurs, as you see right there, just turned yellow and it's turning darker and darker, and once it hits red, this T-Rex is going to drop dead, which is so helpful when you're finding alpha, because you typically don't know how much health they really got. And so white cross means it's dead and it's gone. And if you check to the left over here, you'll see uh, skulls, and basically that is inventory. So if you're looking for your inventory, this bird is so helpful. To throw your bird off your shoulder, double tap F, or it would be Y on an Xbox controller, or I believe triangle on a PlayStation. And yes, these birds are breedable, and that's what I'm stoked about. <laughs> and there we go, my first Forge Hawk egg. Oh yeah. I'm excited. Now let's talk about the ultimate ability that your bird has is you could actually fast travel and the bird will bring you your bag. I'm from the left side of the map and I'm going to the right side of the map. Just check out how fast this bird is. He's just right there. Just chilling on my bed. There's my inventory. There's my bird. Sweet. Now, all I'm missing is my clothes. I need to put some clothes on. But, yeah, this is my humble estate. As you see, I'm not too far in the game right now. But I just want to show you how to get these birds for real. 
And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. It's free and it'll only help me. I appreciate it. And I don't know if you noticed, but these guys just love watching me dance or do things. It's just so cute. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> it's great. Uh, check out my dance moves. Check it out. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Well, I hope you guys have an awesome one. See ya. Uh -huh.